Hey, Orange One here with Domino Clark and Michael Hill. We uh, just uh, earlier in this in-game day were uh, taking out a ton of zombies in the middle of uh, North Andover, and it went pretty well. <laughs> I'm pretty <clears throat> pretty happy with how that combat went, but now we've got a ton of zombie corpses in the dark. I would like to smash and there's still quite a few zombies to our east and north of us so I think we're gonna just smash what we can while we're here and if any anything nasty sees us we might just shoot it and get out of here speaking of which I should probably be holding my bolt driver looks like most of these we'll just start looking at corpses we'll We'll come back for looting this place later, but for now I think we just want to take out a few of these corpses. And those shockers we're going to keep on seeing in a distance, so just need to be aware of that. Make sure it's not actually something closer to us. Yeah, there's some over here as well. Okay, we got some bolts. I'm gonna reload while I can. Why don't we kite Michael down so he helps out with some of this. Okay, that's looking uh, pretty good for the most part. We took out a large group of the zombies around here. Anything around here? No. Here we go, a running zombie. I knew there was going to be other things around here. Oh, we're running still. We don't need to be. <laughs> Yeah, I think these shockers are kind of too good to pass up. I want to not kill those shockers up there, but the uh, the shockers there around here, I think we should butcher. We'll take those. Uh, useful items. Actually, I'll take the wheat seeds as well, the bionic and the long string. Um, yeah, the other shockers here. Cut that up. I'll always take those CBMs. Oh, we should probably take that as well. Internal storage CBM. <laughs> nice. Well, if we want to go power armor crazy, we could always put that CBM in, and then we could carry a little bit more stuff with us. It's not my first option, but it's an option. feel like that may be all of the shockers that we took out. It could be wrong as well. No, there's two here. Okay. They had two anti-glare compensators on them. Okay. It's kind of weird. Eternal Furnace CVM, that's a pretty good one for getting power. 
I think long story short, we've got um, actually Shocker Brute. Wasn't there another Shocker Brute as well? I could have sworn there was another Shocker Brute. Hmm. Let's make our way back to the car. It's getting pretty late. You know, despite our recklessness, that went really, really well. Oh, actually, we should stop. Uh, why don't we grab the lemon lane soda? Also take the bullets, I think. You know, I'm just gonna grab the failure glass jar, never mind. I was thinking it'd be good to have another container or two to hold water in, if we wanted it. Let's see, um, I'd like to put everything in there. Yeah, I'm able to. Why don't we just leave this out as well, because we're probably gonna go back in with it tomorrow. Um... Before we do that though, let's get our uh, do not have adrenaline here, syringe of adrenaline, let's get that, and uh, what gun should we take with us? I think, is it this one or is it that one? Those are both to my north northeast. Let's uh, have a look at them. Did I miss them? Oh, northeast, not northwest. That was one of them. No, they're basically the same. We'll put both the rifle and the adrenaline in there, just in case. And I think I need to make a jumper cable. Let's see. Do I have duct tape? No. Do I have a basic repair kit? No. What do I have around us? I don't think that we have anything that has duct tape in it, but you never know. I might. I might be at the point where I can make my own duct tape. Yeah, I can make my own duct tape. We should probably do that. Let's let Michael get to his seat. Maybe make some water. No. Let's make duct tape first. And 
then we'll make some water. Um, I'm gonna close this for now. And let's see, can I make, um, I'd like to make, whatchamacallit, jumper cable, but we need more copper wire to do that, and a soldering iron, which we don't have. Yeah, we should have brought that soldering iron that we had back at base. That's okay. We got a lot of duct tape at least. <laughs> I'm going to put those survivor goggles back on actually. It is the middle of the night, so we're going to go ahead and get some sleep. Let's set our alarm for nine hours from now because we don't want to sleep too much into the daylight. Okay, we got up without even needing an alarm. Oh, it looks like we should probably make some more bolts. We're still still struggling from killing that uh that one innocent. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna turn on our recharger. Um, let's see, what did I wanna do? Let's um let's have some V8 for our food. And we're gonna have some nice tasty drinks to boost our morale as well. And let's see. got some stuff that's going off. You know, I didn't update the game, but I've heard that um, now with the latest version, if things rot, you have like a cockroaches spawn or like plague some things. And so um, there seems to be a little bit of controversy around that. And also there's uh, some controversy around the CDM install that they updated. So I think I'm just gonna um, hold off on updating until I hear more about that and see if they get that sorted out. It might be a good idea. Can we make this bone? Um, no, we need the leather for the bone boots. Ain't. I don't think there's much that we can really do right now. Unless there's uh, a tailor's kit, there is. Okay, well let's reload that. Uh, let's see, can we repair our socks maybe? Yeah, we can. Okay, we've got Socks are fully repaired. Um, what else could we? It's actually spring, so I'm wondering. Yeah, I probably should keep that scarf, keep my mouth at de decent temperature. Let's get Michael up. Mm. 
And he's thirsty and hungry. Let's give him some water. Oh, I think I... Yeah, I keep on getting my water and putting it in the car. Um, let's see, could I make some... No. Uh, I think I had eggs, though, that I needed to eat. I want to give him some scrambled eggs. Maybe we'll have some as well. Let's have some eggs. You can use the water. No. Okay. Well, let's get back on the road then. I'm gonna leave the tailor's kit though. We don't need that. And I'm gonna turn off the recharger. I'm gonna actually store this in my inventory because I think we can get some more experience with our unarmed combat right now. Yeah, we're fine. So it's good to have rice in this game. Probably should take care of the zombies, but I just kind of want to get back into the city. And loot some of these houses. See if we can find something with uh, an electric motor in it. Ideally. Or not electric motor, a small motor. Um, I don't think we're going to find in any of these stores, unfortunately. Maybe in the antique store or the thrift shop. Those probably are my best bets. But we might as well. Since we cleared this area, we might as well see what's in these houses. Yo, yeah, well, that's not very useful. I'll take the thread though, might as well. It's easy to pick up. This house looks like it's pretty underwhelming in terms of loot. Just got some aspirin, that's it. Okay, well, not a good start for our looting, but... We know the grocery store will have some food for us. We're gonna have some of it just to boost our morale. Okay, 
so that was pretty underwhelming. The toastums will take though. And the salt will take as well. Okay, and we don't actually have a cash card on us. What is in this cart? Uh, nothing really. That park's not gonna have anything either. I don't think this office will have any, um, any motors in it, but they do sometimes spawn with some good stuff. If we wanted to, there will be a lot of computers in here which we could use for crafting. Oh, I forgot to grab the stethoscope. Oop. We're messing up our cart. We got an infected survivor. It looks like it was shooting at stuff, so... Looks like they're keeping their distance, though. You can see there's bullets around them and some dead zombies, so I'm gonna just stay away for now. Oh yeah, the targeting system CDM. Let's grab that. You know, I'm not sure if I've seen this uh, color of a grocery store before. Kind of cool. Got multivitamins. Okay. We'll take the forest honey, that's always good to have in this game. Actually, let's also dump this other stuff. And let's see what else is there. Some vodka. Well, if we do become like a... If we do use the ethanol bar burner, we're going to want alcohol. The ethanol bar burner is nice because it gives you energy in a pretty dense form that you can carry around with you, and it's renewable. So you can just kind of make more alcohol, and we actually have the ability to do that right now. Because we've got the stuff for a still and some other uh, great recipes for like alcohol that we could then distill from. But the problem is that... Um, it's not very healthy, so your character's health score goes down if you do that. Oh, there's a hardware store. We should probably go there. That will probably have our lawn mowers or whatever that we need. We're going to have to fight a fair amount of zombies to get there. Now we're ready for them this time. We just need to keep our distance. And be smart about how many we're fighting. It sounds like there's a lot of zombies that are dying around here. I think they're going over the the rubble. I think an infected survivor might be uh, killing some of them too. So we'll have to be careful with that. So we don't want to just have the infected survivor kill us. What is that right there? Scorched zombie. Oh look, we got some bolts here. 
I'm just gonna grab this. I think the scorched zombie can actually, yeah, explode. That's what I thought they would do. Uh, his bolts and pull up those bodies. And we could have put the gas mask on if we really wanted to. Man, those zombies are bringing down that building. <laughs> Got a shocker brute. Uh, zombie necromancer as well. Okay. Not good. Why don't we fall back then? Michael, we should probably be further away from that giant group of zombies that are going after that infected survivor. And they're doing very well, don't get me wrong. But there are a lot of them. Michael, let's change your combat commands, your engagement rules. Only attack ones I attack first. And let's just get them as far back here as we can. Okay. Michael, you can start attacking them. Take aim at the shocker brute because I want them to go down because they can hurt me pretty bad. And you know what? I'm going to make sure I've got a fully reloaded weapon. There are a lot of zombies here. Um, I'd like to get my unarmed up a little bit, but why don't we clear out some of them first? I'm gonna use some of my bits on these zombies. get some distance between us and them because our buddy just got thrown. I am going to just drop this on the ground for now and take this one out with some melee. some bolts now. Looks like Michael's getting thrown around by that, that brute a fair amount. Um, but we're fine. I think we're more than capable of taking this group out. I'm just going to get the driver out. See if I can take out that brute. That brute is getting kind of annoying with how he's hitting our buddy so much. There we go. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, we're gonna be able to take the zombies out, no problem.
It does I feel remorse, but I don't actually see any remorse on my morale. Nice. We're doing we're doing pretty good then. Um we got some decent unarmed experience as well from that. few there. I am going to reload though. And let's get some of these corpses pulled. And that fat zombie we need to do as well. productive morning so far. I do really like this game, but you gotta you gotta imagine what your character's going through and feel kinda bad for them. Having to go through cities killing like fifty people at a time, it's kinda hardcore. And they're they're not people that I know. But it'd still be Pretty intense if you ask me. We can take these these zombies on in melee. We're fine. pretty low right now so maybe we could eat some something nice and get it up so we can actually get some decent experience from this I want to go back to the cart no uh, have some cookies maybe a toast them there we go Let's do this. Let's get these corpses pulped so they don't jump back up. Especially seeing how that necromancer is right there. We want to be careful about this. If you leave all these zombie corpses unpulped and you get a necromancer, basically you have to kill them all over again. It's a huge pain. Oh, we could get more strength. Uh, that, I think, would probably be a good idea. I think it's at 16 you start getting a penalty to your uh, dodge if you get 16 strength, but I think 15 would be fine. That's pretty great. We got another bionic to install when we get back to our base. A ton of bionics that we could install. But as you can see, we're doing okay as is, so I think that we should just kind of push on for now. Okay. There's still a ridiculous amount of zombies up ahead. But if we can get to that hardware store, we can get into the, uh... We should be able to get into any place that we really need to. Alright, the necromancer's down.
Let's see, could I get, um, let's just have a little bit of vodka. I think that would help us get in a little bit of a better mood, which would be nice. It looks like that actually makes us do more damage. Kind of makes uh, sense, and that I think would mean that our cybernetic would actually help us do even more damage than what we're doing now. Which would be insane. We'll also get the blob gob. A few zombies coming our way. Michael, why don't you come back here? I'd like to keep the zombies away from that bank building right there. logs are like, they're so hard to hit, can get really annoying. I feel like I need to kind of focus right now, sorry if I haven't been talking much, I just am a little nervous about this large group of zombies there around here. It looks with our unarmed skill as it is, we're actually able to handle uh, a lot of these zombies at once. And we could actually craft a, a katana, I think. If we really wanted to, we could craft a katana and use that, but I don't think that, um... I don't think... That would actually be a good move because as is we can do a lot of blocking with the Taekwondo and I think that we kind of need to be more on the defense than on the offense. Okay. Is that a spitter or an acidic zombie? Acidic zombie. Okay, well. I think we're fine then. We'll just let Michael take a shot at them when they get too close. Oh. I said that I would let Michael take a shot at them, but then I stupidly get too close. Now we're fine. Torso is not looking great though, so if we find some bandages, we should probably apply them. Why don't we see if there's any first aid? first aid. Okay. Um. We got another hardware store. Okay. There may be an ambulance around us. Anything that looks like an ambulance? No. We do have that necromancer over there, so we should probably take them out. Um, 
Okay. Well, let's just be on the careful, a little bit of the careful side of things. Let's get rid of these uh, corpses that are around here. There's some shots there. Uh, let's see. This, uh, yeah, we missed some of those zombies over there. Okay. Get the bolt driver out. I'd like to take this dog out before it gets too close. There we go. Alright. At this point, I think that we're fine. We've got fungus though around us, so we should be a little bit more careful than just kind of running around wherever we want. It looks like the uh, safe is still intact, which is good, but I know that um, the safe used to cave in on itself in the middle rooms. down. That's pretty really good. Um, why don't we see if we can get that uh, lawnmower or that engine from the store. Actually, we should pull up these corpses first. Number one rule in this game. If you can, you should pull up corpses. That dog, though, I don't want to get into a fight with right now. There we go. Take off that filter so we can see what's around us. Let's pick up more of these bolts. Oh, and we forgot to get that shocker. Let's go get the shocker then. Actually, maybe we should clear out these zombies or blobs that are around here. I'd rather not have this bank get caved in. As you can see, Michael's having a hard time hitting that zombie. There we go. 